There's a few different ways to find out who's on your system at the current time and what they're doing and when's the last time they were on in FreeBSD. And we'll look at a few of the different ways that you can get this done. First, we're going to have a look at the W command. If we just type W, you get a nice comprehensive uh, list of information. And what this basically does, it, it, it prints a summary, um, a condensed summary, really, of what the current activity on the system is, uh, who's on and what each user is doing. The first line is the time, the current time, how long the system has been up, how many users are logged in, your load averages, and the 0 0.50, the 0 0.44, and the 0.53 is over 1, 5, and 15 minutes. And on the left-hand side, you can see the user's name. At this moment, it's just me. I've got several terminals open, so it's, it's registering as a login. Gives you the name of the terminal, the host of which the user is logged in from, the time in which the user logged in, and remarkably also the time since the last user typed anything in, which I think is pretty cool. It's a very simple, um, small utility, and in its basic form, W, that's just what it gives you. There are a few switches we can use to get different types of information. One of the simple switches we can use is hyphen H, which just basically prints the information from above, but without the headers. You may want that for uh, formatting or just putting into uh, a log or whatever. This you know, it, this tidies things up a little bit. For those coming over from the Linux world, uh, there are one or two options in FreeBSD which don't work or are not being implemented. One of them that springs to mind, W-S, which will give uh, a little message saying it's no longer supported, but that also goes for F, L, S, U, and W. So if you try any of them, uh, unfortunately, you're not going to get any result. If there are multiple users on your system and you want to find information about just one user, then if you put W and the name of the user, it will print out just information on that user. Like that. It's going to look like the information at the top because there's only one user in. But yeah, it will list all the information about the current user that you specified. The man page for W uh, just basically lists uh, the different options. The man page is surprisingly uh, large, really, considering the small nature of the uh, utility, but that's good. And if you just scroll down, you can see the different switches you can use. So you can use the M, N, capital N, small n. And it shows you the file at which it references. The W command appeared in 3.0 of BSD. That's pretty cool. Next up is who. And again, because there's only one user logged in, you're going to see the name multiple times. It looks very much like W. And it gives the information about the users currently logged in. And it includes the login name, the terminal name, and the time of login, and a remote host name if it's not local. And again, there are some switches, just like W. If you put who hyphen B, it'll show you the last time the system was booted. Funny enough, the default uh, look of who is the opposite from W, as, whereas W, we had to specify if you didn't want the headers printing above it. Uh, who will print them without the headers, and you've got to specify that you want the headers. And that's using with the uh, hyphen capital H. If we try who and Q, it will tell you which users on and how many there are. In this instance, I've, I've registered and I've logged in three times. And it's telling you the three users. There's just one user, but it's telling you the three instances. If we put the catch all command hyphen A, you're actually combining three switches in one there, which is the B, capital T, and U, which uh, really tells it to write the time and date of the last system boot, or reboot, indicate whether each user is accepting messages, and show idle time for each user in hours and minutes. So that can be quite handy, actually. And again, if we just put the hyphen H in, really that gives us the headers that we talked about earlier. And that's pretty much it for that. There are other ones, of course, and if you read the man page about the command, it will go into more detail. Oh, as a bonus, if you actually type in who am I, doesn't mean you've uh, lost your memory. 
it's just really a, a, a nice way of writing who hyphen M, which really shows you just the information about the terminal attached to standard input only. Again, here's the man page. This goes into a little bit more detail. Very nice. Next up is last. The last command, not the last command, but this command, which is called last, uh, displays a list of last logged in users. And it does go back a fair while, so you may want to pipe it into uh, less or to slow it down. It's pretty comprehensive. In this case, it goes all the way back to February. So if we scroll up, it gives in reverse order. So the, the latest entries are at the top. It's going up through February and all the time that I've actually logged in and the system has booted and shut down. This is a really useful um, way of monitoring who's been on and when. Uh, a switch, if you want to put... Uh, See, we are just going to pipe it into less so it's uh, more controllable. If you want to uh, customize the number of lines that's displayed, uh, which is showing the output. So if you say, for instance, you don't want uh, the entire list to come up like we saw, uh, you know, there's no need to pipe it into less to control it. You can actually specify that in the hyphen N switch. So if we just put last and then hyphen N3, so it will display the latest three or four, which is pretty useful. If we have a look at the last man page. Next up is users. Again, it's another small command that will allow you to uh, get the names of users who are currently logged in. So rather than putting multiple times that I'm logged into this particular session, it's listed just as me just on my own. So it's a little bit clearer than W and who. And if we just put users, uh, pipe that into WC hyphen W, it will list that there's one user, which we can see that anyway, just in case. So yeah, there's not that many different features in uh, this users command, but in itself, I find it particularly more, if you do want to find just the users, uh, not, not necessarily what they're doing, but just how many users there are, this one gets straight to the point. I kind of like that. And you can uh, extract information from a specific file if you want. Again, all the information you need is the uh, is in the man page. And the man page is uh, not very large. There you go, that's it. And it appeared in BSD3 or 3.0 BSD. And finally, and Curiously, the command last, last login, which will tell you, not surprisingly, when people last logged in. There's not that many commands, uh, switches available. You can specify a login database file if you want. It doesn't have to be the one that's applicable to uh, the whole system uh, currently. So if you've got an old one you want to have a look at, you can, uh, you can pass that. You can print the entries in reverse order if you wish. And you can sort the elements by last login time instead of the username. So there's a couple of ways, two or three ways that you can uh, manipulate the information. The obligatory man page is man last login. And there you go. I haven't gone into too much detail in this particular video. Um, there are some entries which you can play uh, in the terminal yourself. Give them a good look. Give them a try. See what you can find out. And I know there's probably others available in the uh, parts tree. But I wanted to show you the ones which were available in the base system. And if there's any that you can think of and you would like to share, then please leave them in the comment section down below. Anyway, that's all there is. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Um.